of the people's princess, an endearment Diana Spencer earned through her heart for communities at home or abroad. Well, the Bakersfield pageant is looking for similar attributes. It's all in the title. The Bakersfield pageant is open to women who live, work or attend school in Bakersfield. Other than that, the outreach program that has been around for 27 years is not looking for women with a certain look or background. What they're seeking in their next teen Miss and Mrs. Bakersfield is someone who wants to serve their community as Bakersfield hostess. The executive director of the pageant, Gail Tape, says it's embedded in the organization's identity as a community based pageant rather than a franchise franchise that competes at other levels. We serve Bakersfield. We're about Bakersfield and what we can do with our community, along with our mayor and city officials. And we um, help people with their fundraising. We help causes. We serve um, with children. We try to be an inspiration to actually get involved with something that's bigger than you. Tape says the pageant pours back into its contestants, awarding prizes, providing personal training, and building their confidence on attributes from the inside out. Those that are from the sisterhood, she says, have gotten jobs from the networking and communication skills they've learned through the program. Now, the orientation for the 2022 pageant kicks off Tuesday at Stockdale Country Club. That's where contestants can speak to the pageant committee and participants in from years past. Prospective contestants, parents, and friends can come as well, and if they're interested in competing, applications will be at the ready. Now, there are some women out there that may think, well, I'm not a pageant girl, but if they're interested, tune in during our 11 p.m. news hour to hear Tape's message to those girls. In the studio, Kristen Vartan, 23BC News, connecting you.